Well, Qigong, slowly and gradually, it is like a, a so-called uh, spiritual practice to do Qigong. Spirit, the purpose of the spiritual practice is about to understand your heart, your heart. So whatever you hear, whatever you see, but your heart stay. Meaning, you don't influence and affect by what you see, what you hear. But you need to train to do that. The training to do that in Qigong is a word, Qigong, that's just like uh, meditation. Qi, it is energy. Gong is time and effort. The time and effort, so-called human energy, your energy had to be balanced with the energy outside. That outside meaning the energy input. The Qigong it is the four components of Qigong practice. Posture, concentration, relaxation and breathing. That's what you do Qigong. You know, you with good posture, when your bodily correct posture will inspire the energy to happen spontaneous with the right inner environment, meaning your mind with the so-called right inner environment, meaning concentrate at the present time. When your mind is present, that's no time or the past and the future. So you're, that we go focus and you pay attention to yourself at the time with good posture your energy already responding, spontaneous, without any theory or method, you see. So as soon as your mind calms down in certain level, as soon as when your mind is calmed down, in certain, your breathing changes. We are not aware of our breathing because the breathing constantly related to your emotions. If you're sad, your breathing is different. If you're angry, your breathing is different. When you have fear, your, your breathing is different. Without you aware of it, it's subconscious. So when your mind is slowed down and calm, the first thing you're aware is your breathing. Mm -hmm. Relaxation, you need breathing. We call circulation, the qi. You need to promote the blood circulation to help you relax. Relaxation meaning your energy breaks through the blockages. You no know, masculine blockages and tension and so on. It's come from muscle tension. But once you're relaxing properly, the circulation will improve. Qigong in China, they call yi gong. Yi. Yi meaning the mind power. The, that mind power is the nature of the mind, it, like a subconscious mind, to helping you, not to go against you. But unfortunately, we're using the conditioned mind 24-7. So the nature of the mind is absent because we don't use it. The nature mind. The nature of the mind, which we have. Mm -hmm. But when we lost it at the, age of, at the age of six months, the conditioned mind was taking place. So the conditioned mind takes over as we get Take older, over. And the purpose of Qigong is to find... Regain. The regain the unconditioned yeah. mind. Yeah, because anything man may or condition never satisfy. Anything man made is not natural. So therefore when we practice Qigong, we don't use that mind. Which mind? Man made mind. <laughs> it's not it's a lick pooling. So meaning method and theory, it is dangerous. That is a in, in bad inference. I do that style. I do rainbow Qigong and I do panda Qigong. What style do you do? I do rooster qigong. At the end of the day, people focus on style. But what is the purpose of pra the, that practice? It becomes unheard of, the practicing. Practicing, it depends on what energy input. So the energy input, it can be positive. But your energy input also can be negative. Go through the human process and then energy output. If your negative energy input, your output also negative. Qigong, when you practice, you, you discover your pain is normal because that's how you start to heal from the beginning. You find the pain, you unblock it, and you heal. And then from then on, not just a physical pain, then you have mental, emotional pain. And that's why Qigong becomes a self-healing uh, system because you find it, but you must not turn away from it. Mm -hmm. You must not turn away from the pain.